Welcome to this lecture about the chi-square test of independence. The Pearson's chi-square test is commonly used to test three things, goodness of fit, homogeneity and independence. In previous videos, we have discussed the goodness of fit test and the test of homogeneity. In this lecture, we have a look at the chi-square test of independence, where we test if there is a relationship between two categorical variables on numerical scale. Before we do that, We'll compare the three tests. The goodness of fit test is used to test if the observed frequency for a categorical variable is consistent with a known or hypothesized distribution. For example, let's say that we know that 30% of the individuals in a certain country are smokers and that 70% are non smokers. We would then like to know if the proportion of smokers is the same in a certain city compared to the rest of the country. We take a random sample of for example 100 individuals from the city and ask if they smoke or not. We note that 45 out of the 100 individuals in this sample are smokers. We can then run a chi-square goodness of fit test to determine if the frequency distribution in a city is different from the rest of the country. This test will result in the same p-value as the two-tailed one proportion set test, which tests if the proportion of smokers in the city is different compared to the proportion according to the null hypothesis. The chi-square test of homogeneity is quite similar to the goodness of fit test. The difference is that we now have two or more samples that we like to compare. For example, we may take two samples from two different cities and check if there is a difference in the distribution of smokers and non-smokers between the two cities. This test results in the same p-value as a two-tailed two-proportion set test, which tests if there is a difference in the proportion between two populations. In contrast to the test of homogeneity, which is based on two samples, the chi-square test of independence is based on only one sample, where two or more variables have been measured. For example, suppose we have collected 200 random individuals from the population and recorded their gender and if they are smokers or not. We can then use a chi-square test of independence to test if there is an association between gender and smoking. The two methods will use the same calculations and result in the same test statistic and p-value if the observed frequencies in the continuity table are the same. The main difference lies in the experimental study design. As an example of a chi-square test of independence, let's say that we have collected 8100 random individuals from the population and noted smoking status and if they have cancer or not. The null hypothesis of this test states that there is no association between smoking and cancer, whereas the alternative hypothesis states that there is an association between smoking and cancer. We can see that out of the ones who have cancer, 60% are smokers, whereas only 10% are smokers in the group who do not have cancer. We calculate the chi-square test statistic exactly as we did in the previous video for the chi-square test of homogeneity. Watch that video to see how to do the calculations. The chi-square test statistic is here computed to 260. The p-value is smaller than a general significance level of 0 0.05, which means that we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is an association between smoking and cancer. There is a larger proportion of smokers in the group who have cancer compared to the group who do not have cancer. Although it is tempting to conclude that smoking causes cancer, the chi-square test only tells us that there is an association, nothing about causality. Let's say that we will repeat the same study. This time we only ask if the participants carry any cigarettes on a daily basis. Since people who are carrying cigarettes are likely to also smoke, we would expect to get the same results. We would therefore conclude that there is an association between cancer and carrying cigarettes. However, 
it wouldn't be correct to say that carrying cigarettes causes cancer. This is because the association we have observed is confounded by something else. A confounder is a variable that is associated both with the exposure and the outcome. In this case, smoking is associated with carrying cigarettes as well as to cancer. People who are carrying cigarettes are likely to also smoke, and it is the smoking that is likely to cause cancer. When we interpret the results from a chi-square test of independence, we should therefore only say that it is an association between the two factors and be careful to draw further conclusions about causality. This was the end of this lecture about the different chi-square tests. In the next lecture, we will have a look at the McNamara test, which is the corresponding chi-square test for paired data.